I wanted to quickly make a, another one of these little short wiring videos, just kind of some procedural tips and tying up some loose ends, I guess uh, sometimes literally. But what we have here is that the kick panel that I've been on about the last couple of videos. And just kind of just some stuff that I think is just useful to just have out as, you know, just searchable information. So, uh, blah, blah, blah. Everything's labeled. I've got all this in here. I really like these little, um, you can get them like everywhere, but they just, you know, you just put a screw through them and they hold wires. I have one up there holding some of these up uh, nicely. This is a ground. There's a little ground point right there. And that's actually this this one pin weather pack connector and that grounds the uh, relays and the uh, wideband o2 wideband o2 speaking of is now mounted up here and everything works got rid of the clock got a voltmeter there and well i had the voltmeter but i just moved it over so i think that's kind of what i've been shooting for the whole time and i'm really satisfied with how that came out so back over here i was going to just kind of talk about some procedural stuff I found it really helpful to use uh, heat shrink on wires that are generally going to the same place, or zip ties. There's a lot of, like, you can't really tell, but they're just zip ties on stuff that just kind of keep stuff together that's all going to the same place, so it's not spaghettied all over your footwell or wherever you end up putting it. This is kind of some uh, janky work. This is the fuel pump out power. This is 12 volts from this 20 amp fuse. And, uh, okay, so it's kind of... It's not really straightforward. This is the fuel pump fuse from the stock fuse panel. I think it's like a 15 or 16 amp or something. Uh, obviously the one down there. What I did was I just took this wire, ran it all the way over there, and then you like pull up that little plastic thing, like this thing, only on the driver's side, and there's a little bundle of wire, and it's the thick black wire with a green stripe, and I'm not going to go over there and peel it out, but... I just teed it into that, and it works great. I turn the key, and the fuel pump immediately primes everything once like it's supposed to. The car has been running and idling great, so just, you know, as a sanity check, uh, this does work, and it, I think it works pretty well. This is the tachometer wire here. I would lack of a better thing to do with it. I just have it running out, and it comes out. Right now, it's just chilling in the driver footwell, and there's the DME harness. Just don't need that anymore. So... That's about it. Uh, in here anyway, I'm trying to think. I'm, I'm sure there were like five things that I'm forgetting, but obviously, you know, just, oh yeah, this is the last thing. So I've been using this black conduit stuff and I decided to terminate all the wires. You use like a giant coil of wires that I'm not using, like the optical and a math output. Well, I decided just to terminate all of them relatively short, but leaving enough that I could add stuff on and reattach wires if I needed to. And all those wires are now over there, just, I'm going to hold on to them just because maybe, I don't know, they're labeled and everything. This one that I didn't cut short is the VR2 in, and that's just because there's a, a ground sheath around that that I didn't want to have to mess with, so I thought I'll just leave that one back there. I'll probably tuck it behind the carpet. And this, what I'm probably going to do, this fuel pump wire, is I had pulled this back, and uh, my intent is to just run it out here and then like underneath this carpet and then join the, the harness I was talking about before. So, yeah, go under the hood. Really the only other place where there's any sort of wiring. So these, uh, I think I said in the last video, just temporary. I've got the trigger light hooked up for just doing some spark angle wizardry. Let's see, as far as wiring goes, there's not a whole lot. I haven't dealt with this yet. But, just, you know, just use common sense. I've reattached the grommet that goes on the firewall and zip-tied everything, you know, so it's not falling on stuff. And that's kind of just still there. It's kind of just probably going to stay that way. This is just for the timing light. It's not part of the harness. I still don't know what to do with this old harness. Uh, part of me just wants to leave it here because it's just, here's the problem, okay? I would have removed it, but if you like look down in here, this is the main loom. There's all sorts of stuff that, that kind of branches off of it that I thought was separate, but it's not. Like for example, uh, like the oil, sorry, the, the temperature gauge on the dash. It's separate from the three 
Yeah, there's a two-pin or a three-pin, whatever the one is that you, uh, the, the ECU sees for enrichment. But there's another one, and I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah, that one right there. So that has a little, like, one-pin thing coming off of it, and that goes into the main loom. So if I were to delete the main harness, I would have to figure something out for uh, getting that signal, plus the oil pressure gauge, plus I think there's some other stuff, too. Like, I think the ignition, you know, ignition switch, all that, I don't know. I'll figure something out, but it's kind of, I think it's going to be okay just to leave it. I'll just zip tie everything. And then, of course, I've, along with that comes the, oh, yeah, I think the alternator, you know, and the starter and all that. I think they're separate harnesses, but uh, it's just, I think I'm going to leave it all in place, just for now anyway. But, yeah, you still have the... These were the DME's connectors. This is like the AFM, the let's see, three pin. What would probably the TPS? I don't know. But this is all in here now, and everything is, I think, looks a lot better. It's zip tied to that, and that's about it for the wiring. I think I mentioned it before, but uh, let's see, for this, the wiring is just it's wasted spark. If you want more details on that, it just you can find it on Google. It's not hard wiring, but you use the stock connector that comes like with one of these brackets. You just go to a Suburban or something, Corvette, doesn't matter, an LS engine car. You grab the whole bracket, you make sure you take the wiring. I rewrapped this wiring because the, the old wrapping was just really, really ratty looking. That's about it, get that out of the way. And then a uh, good old polluted battery lug. Yeah, this is like, this hood's been open for like a week, so there's all sorts of crap in here. But eventually something will be done about that, but today is not that day. So I got these headlights on their own relays. <laughs> nice and bright. So look at that. Isn't that beautiful? No wires coming off of it. All right. I'll shut up now. That's kind of, I, I, I'm just trying to like make this video to kind of type any loose ends. So sorry if... Uh, there's any questions or things that maybe I, I didn't go over that weren't readily obvious, but just leave a comment below or something. So.